work in big seller. Go to city, authorization, other authorization. Select accounting software. Then add company. Company name and user and password is here. The database name and the DCF path can be found in SQL account login page. This is the database name and this line is the DCF path. Submit. Please be noted that once you delete the company, all the history database of this company will be deleted and won't update. After submitting successfully, you can navigate to Report SQL Account page. Here we can see the new added company. Then, we need to do the following mapping. Before mapping, we need to download the Vixella Finance plugin. Select the SKU and click Mapping. It will pop up a reminder. Just click this line to download the Finance plugin. Install and finish. Select SKU and click Mapping. We can see the map record in the Big Seller Finance plugin. If you map in bulk, the SKU might be stuck as mapping. You can use the push manually feature. When map is done or failed, it will move to map failed or mapped page. The map failed SKU can be mapped again. You can click this icon to remove mapping. Click Add Mapping, select Stores and enter the customer code. The customer code can be found in SQL Account Customer. Maintain Customer here. One shop can be mapped with one customer code, but one customer code can be mapped with multiple stores. Mapping. The SKU warehouse code can be found in SQL account software stock. Maintain location. You can find the SQL item in stock, maintain stock item, and here is the SQL item. If you do not have this code, you need to create them first. After finish mapping, you can create the sales invoice for the completed orders. Please ensure that Big Seller Finance plugin works. Select Orders, Create Sales Invoice. If you invoice many orders at the same time, they might be stuck at creating. If they stay here for a long time, you can click Push manually. 
When invoice is done or failed, it will move to create successfully or create failed. And you can create sales invoice again here. If successful, the invoice will move to create successfully automatically. If you have already created invoice in SQL, you can move it to create successfully manually.